Hey, ELD, misinformation. What have I been asked recently and had to clear up, not just once, not just twice, but it, several times, maybe a dozen by now, is some ELD misinformation. Now, the misinformation goes something like this. It all has to do with the 160 kilometer radius rule. If I only go beyond the 160 kilometer radius every now and again, like one or two days a month, the rumor is, the misinformation is, I don't need an ELD. That is false. <laughs> false. In Canada, if you are required to have an ELD, if you go beyond the 160 kilometer radius, you are required to have an ELD. There, that's it. I said it. If you go beyond the 160 kilometer radius, you are required to have an ELD. Now, there is maybe a way around it. And that way around it might be the odd time that you do go beyond the 160 kilometer radius. You rent a vehicle because that is one of the exemptions. Let me read the four exemptions to you so that you totally understand. And by the way, I'm in Ontario. The Ontario government has said they are referring and copying the Transport Canada ELD rule. So this is from Transport Canada. A motor carrier shall ensure that each commercial vehicle that operates is equipped with an ELD that meets the requirements of the technical standard and shall ensure that, the, that it is mounted in a fixed position during the operation of a commercial vehicle and is visible to the driver when the driver is in the normal driving position, with the exception of commercial vehicles that are operated by a motor carrier under a permit. B, operated by a motor carrier to which an exemption has been issued under the act. C, the subject of a rental agreement of no longer than 30 days that is not extended or renewed rental of the same vehicle. D, manufactured before model year 2000. That's it. Those are the exemptions. And the first two operate under a permit or get an exemption under the act don't apply to you. The third one, a rental agreement for 30 days or less and not renewed might, you could use that one, and the last one is if your truck's manufactured before the year 2000. Before the year 2000, not a 2000, the wording says manufactured before model year 2000. So there you have it. There are four exemptions. Two do not apply to you. One, the rental might. And the fourth, if your truck is a, older than a 2000, does apply. So that's it. Those are the exemptions. So please, let's get it clear. I have put links in the show notes down below to the Transport Canada approved ELD devices. And make sure when you're checking that list, if you already have an ELD, check the version number and the model number. So the software version is very important, has to be up to date, and the model number because several manufacturers have more than one device that has been approved. And they also have other devices that they did not submit for approval. Make sure that you are using an approved device. And then lastly, I'll put the link in the show notes to the Transport Canada website where you too can review the exemptions. All right, that's it. Safety Dog is out.